guys, Kilroy, LA here, makeovits.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Echo One Red Star, AK-47, and the RPK. That's this week on The Loadout. We're here at the Echo One Red Star LMG RPK, as well as my brand new Echo One Red Star AK-47. I bought mine from Airsoft GI. I bought mine from Evike. Uh, mine got here a whole one day earlier. Um, so if that tells you anything about anything, um, sometimes Evike's a little iffy on their stuff, but looks like this, they came through all right this time. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over LA's RPK here, and then we'll go ahead and unbox this here a little later. All right, LA. First impressions when you unbox it. What do you think? Sexy. Sexy. Yeah. And definitely. Said. Now, uh, further thoughts on the gun after holding it for a while. When you first get it out of the box, you you might notice that the rear stock here a bit wobbly back and forth from side to side. Tighten up the screws a little bit. It'll take care of most of it. it won't take care of it all, but just live with it. The uh, pistol grip here. You can kind of push it back and forth a little bit, forward and back and it moves the whole gearbox a little bit. A little iffy on that, but so far no suffering on the performance or anything. But overall, really good build quality. A couple of the metal pieces seem a little bit cheap, but that's to be expected. It's not you know real steel or anything. It goes back, got the hop-up adjustment there. Hop-up's pretty sick. It's got a good response to it. The uh, iron sights on the back are pretty badass. You got a good windage and elevation adjustment here. The front sight is one of those cheaper feeling metal pieces, but uh, it's functional, works, just don't hit it on anything, on purpose anyway. Flash hider, pretty sweet how they did it. The little button thing up here you can push down, you can twist off the flash hider pretty easy to put on your aftermarket ones. Bipod, fairly easy to work. And it's folded. And reverse that to open it, of course. And what what does something like this run on e-bike? $340. And what does that come with? It comes with the gun, battery, charger, high capacity magazine. 450 rounds. I don't remember the capacity. You can fit a number of a whole plethora of batteries in the back here. Not all at once, mind you. What battery would you recommend for? Right now I'm running a uh, 7.4 LiPo in it. Seems to be working pretty good. I might try to step it up to a 9. Point, uh, what is it? 9.9 .9 LiPo. But uh, we'll see. Cool. Well, we'll go ahead and get this chronographed and let you guys see what that runs at stock. After the chrono test, we see she's shooting real regular around 400 to 410, pretty close to there. Which is a little hot for some fields, but you know, just got to play responsibly with it. Maybe downgrade the spring a little bit later. Rate of fire, as you saw, was about 11.9 rounds per second. I kind of like the slower rate of fire because the RPK never has been known for an extremely high rate of fire. It's a big round, it's got to take a little bit of time in between shots for the recoil. So I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Like I said, a few minor issues that can be dealt with. Aftermarket mags, for example. Bought a Echo One drum mag, 3,000 rounds, auto winding. Having issues, the lip on it, it's not big enough to hold it into the front of the mag well. Real wobbly and everything. Bought some uh, mag 140 round mid caps. They work in it. It's a little loose because the back notch holds it up in the mag well. It's a little bit thinner than I like. Other than that, they work great. But yeah, overall, goodbye. And uh, I highly recommend. Station wagon cruising on the south of 16th. Tapping on my brakes to the sound of my beats. I got the red lights flicking to the sound of the heat. 
ain't no sample in the jinx don't cheat I'm feeling kinda charged, got a positive flow of cash Can't tell my mood by the sound of this rap So quit acting tight, take a notch out your cap Take a roll of fives and put a tip in my hat My cash, I like the cash, I like the rock hard Ain't no thing Alright guys, now we're just gonna unbox my Red Star AK Tell you the truth, I've already opened it and played with it But I want you guys to see what comes in the box So, I've got a pretty, you know, just got your normal shipping damage from, you know UPS, FedEx, whoever delivered it. Um, it's pretty sturdily in place. It's got these foam spacers to keep it from moving around a little bit. Um, standard, I guess. You've got your 400 some round high cap magazine winding. It can't, comes with a winding key, but there's no place to use it on the magazine, so I thought that was kind of weird. Um, we'll get it out of the box here. Now, first things first, when I took this out of the box originally, the, the metal scope here cracked, or not scope, front sight cracked right down the middle here. So already the metal is showing how cheap it might be. Um, everywhere else seems pretty solid. It's like LA said, it's kind of like pop metal in some places. Um, it's real wood on the foregrip and the buttstock. Your later AKs down the road came which went with the bake like uh, pistol grips. So it's Obviously trying to go for an older look of an AK with the Russian foregrip. Um, if it was a solid piece, it'd look more accurate, but it's it's two pieces. Got your hop up, as LA pointed out. It's kind of touchy, um, but it works pretty good. It's pretty neat design. It's better than the spinny M4 type. Uh, I've got an 11-1 LiPo. This will not stay in this gun. I've jacked up way too many guns with LiPos. My KWA M4 is the only one that's been able to handle my 11-1 handle my LiPo. Got some pretty cool trades on the side. It's got the Red Star, you know, AK, it's got the, the round caliber, and then it's got the mount for the, the mountable wrist on the top. So it's pretty neat overall. It's got standard selector switch, full auto, semi. So other than that, I think it feels awesome. It's my my first real AK. My other AK is an, also an Echo One. It's a tactical, it's got an LE stock, and it's got the tactical foregrip. Um, it doesn't feel as authentic as this one does. So let's go ahead and get this thing chronoed, and we'll go from there. Went chrono, chronoed around 398, 400-ish. Uh, and then with the 11-1, it was shooting 13 BBs a second. Once again, I wouldn't recommend the 9-1 or the 11-1 LiPo unless you've got upgraded internals or better wiring harness. It's more of a gun than just stock. Um, once again, when we did do our chrono, they were at two threes. So put another couple 20 FPS, 25 FPS if you're using .20s. If you have any questions about the Echo One Red Star um, AK-47 or the Echo One Red Star RPK, feel free to email us at highspeeddeathmachines at gmail.com. And uh, we'll be glad to take those questions for you. Other than that, tune in for the next review, and we'll see you next time.